This short video will demonstrate how to run a report in Sitka's Evergreen. In the reporter, navigate through your folders to the template you would like to run a report from. In the My Folders section, click the arrow next to Templates to expand to show your folders. Click on the folder containing the template. Check the box beside the template you'd like to use, and from the drop-down menu at the top, select Create a new report from selected template and click Submit. On the Reports Definition screen, you will enter the parameters for your report. Template Name, Template Creator, and Template Description are for informational purposes only. They are hard-coded when the template is created, and at the Report Definition stage, it is not possible to change them. Report Name is a required field. Reports stored in the same reports and output folders must have unique names. We recommend giving the report a name that makes it easy for you and other staff to tell what the report is for. Report description is optional. The description will appear at the top of the report output. The report columns are listed in the order that they will display on your report. These columns come from the template and can only be changed by editing the template. The pivot label column and pivot data column are optional. Pivot tables are a different way to view data. If you're currently using pivot tables in Excel, it is better to select Excel output and continue using the pivot tables in Excel. Pivot tables are suitable for some report data only. Select a folder in which to save the report definition. Click on the folder to select it. Only your folders will display here. Different report templates will have different filters that need to be selected to determine the parameters of your report. Most report templates will have a filter for library. Select your library from the list and click Add. Depending on the data you need, multi-branch libraries may want to select a specific branch or all branches. Select the appropriate values for any other filters. Some report templates will have hard-coded filters as well. For example, the Title and Copy Count by Shelving Location and Circulation Modifier template has hard-coded filters to exclude items that have been created as precats and items that are deleted. Hard-coded filters can only be changed when editing the report template. Select one or more output format. Excel, CSV, and HTML are the available options. In addition to the HTML tabular view, bar and line charts are also available as part of the HTML output, but will only display for reports with data suitable for those formats. Generally, reports that return counts can be represented as bar or line charts, and reports that are lists cannot. Ensure Run as soon as possible is checked to run the report immediately. To learn about running recurring reports, see the Recurring Reports video. If there is an email address in your account, it will display in the Completion Notification field. You can remove the address, change the address, or add additional addresses separated by commas. The notification email will contain a link to a password-protected report URL. An Evergreen staff login is required to access the report data. Select a folder in which to save the output. Click on the folder to select it. Click Save Report, and then click OK in the confirmation box. You will be taken back to your template folder. To learn how to view your report output, see the video Viewing Report Output. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.